Hey guys, it's that time again, Brain Cancer Diaries. Hey, welcome to another episode of Brain Cancer Diaries. Uh, today's topic is what to expect if you have cancer and what life is like for a cancer patient like myself. And I'd say this actually came from a viewer who was kind of curious about that. Um, it's kind of a tough question to answer because it's a little different for everybody. Um, I, through my process of my recovery, I have um, met several other people who have had brain cancer. And, um, and, and no two experiences are alike. I mean, the truth is not all, I mean, it's still a young science and young medicine. Um, not a whole lot is known, um, that, which is frustrating, but at the same time too, it's also, um, it also, I think it's a taught me empathy with others um, in terms of whether somebody's recovering from heart surgery or going through in vitro fertilization or has another type of a cancer. I mean, the experience is different. We all suffer in our own ways. It's all, we all find joy in life in different ways. Um, so, you know, even though it's frustrating that there's not a clear answer, I mean, I was told initially that I'd be back on my feet at work and feeling normal by the end of 2018, and here we are in April of 2019. I have a lot of balance issues. I am kind of getting over, I have a lot of fatigue. I have a thing going on with my eye here that sometimes squints on its own. I have a weird spooky left arm that sometimes has a mind of its own. It starts tremoring and doing weird things. Um, I'm on, on two different types of chemotherapy still. Um, and I need assistance walking, so, because I have really bad balance. I think I said that. Anyway, um, so I thought it might be more interesting to kind of just see what a day in my life is like, so you can kind of get a sense, because I'm sure there's some commonalities with what other people are going through. Um, and it might kind of help you too, why maybe I'm not so jazzed to go roller skating or go to the museum or hang out all day. Um, I mean, the truth is, I mean, I have not been to even to a restaurant with my family since last July. So that's seven, eight months or so, actually nine months. Um, hello, math. Anyway, um, uh, so I should kind of tell you that how how unpleasant this whole experience is, but you know, just keep keep strong. Uh, I try to just put my best foot forward and keep a, a positive attitude about everything. I am improving, and that's what I, I try to focus on: are the, the little baby steps of improvements. Um, one other thing, and before we get kind of into what a typical day is like for me, I wanted one thing I want to talk about: this idea of fighting cancer and being a warrior and all, and all that. I'm not necessarily into that. I do think there is an element of being having a warrior mindset when taking on this sort of stuff, but I don't think you really fight cancer as much as you endure it. Um, I mean, it's, the disease is gonna do what it's gonna do. All you can do is stand there, take the punches. Like Rocky said, the world's gonna hit you, hit you hard. Um, it's it's about how hard you can get hit and keep on coming and it's kind of how I feel about cancer It's sort of like come on bring on your best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive this. I'm going to endure it um, I think that does take partially sort of a warrior mindset to kind of be able to take best shots from from a disease but um, Hey guys, it's about eight 30, 8.45, this is when my day kind of gets going. Kids have just left for school. Sometimes I'm, I'm up a little bit earlier, 7.30, 7 o'clock, I'll help with the kids a little bit. But they're kind of crazy in the morning. They are always yelling about they, what they want to eat for breakfast and if they're gonna get dressed. And any, any parent out there kind of knows what I'm talking about. If young kids knows what I'm talking about. Um, and so it kind of hurts my head because I'm sensitive to the noise and lots of running around. So anyway, once they leave, I get up and then that's the time I'm about to go eat breakfast, usually cereal or oatmeal with a banana. Um, and I take uh, first dose of pills. First one being Prilosec. So the hydrocortisone, one of the steroids I'm on, um, doesn't burn, doesn't burn a hole in my stomach. Um, 
Panta I Prozole I call it Pancitron, I don't know why. It's because I take another medicine called Dancitron. But anyway, um, it's basically a product that gets for my stomach just because I've been, I was on dexamethasone, which is steroid, and now I'm on hydrocortisone, which is also steroid. Both of them kind of tear up your stomach, so it helps pr protect my stomach so I don't get ulcers and add to my woes, add one more sort of nuisance to get over. Okay, after breakfast, I take a few more pills. I take two hydrocortisone, and I take a multivitamin. And then I take the first of several naps for today. Um, Alexa, please play music by Noi. Hey guys, it's now 10 o'clock and um, I'm not napping, but I do move out to the living room and rest on the couch next to my lovely wife, Cecily, while she works. And, we occasionally, and Rosie, the dog, of course. Um, we talk a little bit and mostly just relax and rest, sort of half napping, half awake. Around 11, I creep back into bed and I take an actual nap. It's about one o'clock and yeah. it's generally when I'm still a little groggy, I just woke up from a nap. Um, eating lunch about one o'clock. Today's lunch is leftovers from last night that Cecily brought home. She took the kids out to dinner at a local deli and um, and um, brought this sandwich back for me. I, as, as you notice, I've only eaten half of it. There actually was a whole sandwich there. Um, and um, it's just because I just don't eat as much. I don't, I don't really, as you've probably figured out, I don't really move that much during the day, so I don't really need to eat as many calories. Um, I fill up pretty quickly. Uh, I'll probably eat the rest as a snack in the afternoon at some point. So that's, that's lunch. I don't eat very much. I gained quite a bit of weight. I don't move very much. So, um, anyway, um, so I usually take it easy. After lunch, I have another hydrocortisone. I lay down. It's time for some more medicines. It's small dose. Sorry, says my left hand's a little wonky. As you can see, it has a little bit of a tremor to it. Um, hydrocortisone. I take one of these after lunch and then lay back down. I don't really sleep the rest of the afternoon. I just kind of watch Netflix and Hulu and catch up on, on on my cue. Anyway. But I don't really sleep in the afternoons. Most of my sleeping is really in the morning. I lay back down and I'm kind of doing similar to what I'm on the couch where I am um, kind of resting, kind of up. I'm too tired to get out of bed and really do anything. Um, but I'm not really tired enough to sleep. So I usually watch Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime. So here I am. This is how I spend my afternoons lately. I've been watching The Office since I've run through everything on my queue. Okay, so it is roughly 2 o'clock. Just people working on the house, we did some time. Um, as you can see, I have trouble walking down the stairs. I need to, I have bad balance. So, I'm trying, trying to up the number of walks per day. And that's when you know that's warmer, but um, this is where we're at right now. Um, let's just, just get a little, so you can see how, kind of how I walk. A little off balance, kind of Frankenstein y, but I'm doing it. I'll walk in Cecily and I, as you can see, it's a little bit easier if I have somebody to walk with. Fortunately, Cecily works from home, so she helps me out quite a bit. We try to get at least one walk in a day. I'm looking to get it up to about to two or three walks per day, or at least one longer walk at some point. We'll see, hopefully my balance gets good enough that I can go unassisted so I don't have to rely on her so much. I do have a cane that I use sometimes. I don't really like using it because I feel like it kind of slows me down. It makes it more awkward. But so that's so right now I'm doing today. We are doing the block. I'm just gonna go up and down the street that in front of my house. And then then and that, that wears me out pretty pretty well. So I'll probably lay back down and get back to watching Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. 
Unfortunately, I'm all caught up on most of my shows. So you should start watching Shit's Creek. <laughs> it is a good show, but um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm right now in the process of reworking through all nine seasons of The Office. I'm currently up to season seven. So um, if you had to ask me the character I identify the most with is probably Kevin. <laughs> It's not because I'm gaining so much weight, but just because he really likes M&M's and I really like M&M's. Which one's I... Kevin? All right. So, anyway, anyway, that's it for now. Yeah, my arm's hurt. Okay, so I just finished the walk. Ah, I'm almost sure that I always think of Ian Hutchinson. Thank you, I love you, man. Hey, for drilling in, it's a lifesaver. It gets me. Last little bit of the way home. And like I said, it's time to watch some Netflix, see what Kevin's up to, the secret genius of the office. Okay, Rosie. Oh, uh, then when I get back, I lay back down for a few hours. Um, I might have a light snack in the afternoon. And then it's all about once the kids get home. So it's about 5.30 right now. Kids are home from school. Rosie is Getting all excited. Round, wind up. Hi! I love you! Hey, Bye. Rosie. Peekaboo. Um, yeah. Ah. yeah, she's she got sharp paws, huh? Those claws. Papa. Hi! I love you guys. I love you too. And by getting stronger every day? Yes! Yes! Great. That's all I wanted to hear, as long as you guys notice. You guys are the reason why I keep working to get stronger every day. Oh. And the rose. You like cheese too? I like Cheetos. Yeah, who doesn't like Cheetos? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah look, and there's Rosie. And um, I actually um, had some recorded some stuff of me doing stuff with the kids, but there was a big scare with um, one of my youngest had a little bit of a fever and that's one thing that's actually people aren't aware of that like even a very slight fever for somebody with cancer is a big deal you know like a 99 or 100 can quickly escalate in somebody with who has cancer to something much worse like pneumonia or or impact how my body is healing so uh and then i have dinner usually around 5 30 6 o'clock 6 30. <laughs> There you are. Hi, little butt. <laughs> okay, so it's a little after six time for dinner. Yeah, but I'm getting a chicken nugget. Is it a real chicken nugget or a fake chicken nugget? Fake. Yeah, and what else are you eating? I'm eating, I'm eating pizza. There's like a, like a little pizza dough thing. What are those called? Pizza pockets? Yeah. Look, and there's mommy. <coughs> so, Hi, only the fanciest of feasts at the Fisherman House. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of all the nights, this is the night we get. It's usually better than this. It's usually like vegetables and stuff. This is clearing out the freezer night. What do you think of this dinner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember we show we show that my butt. I never showed you my butt. Yeah. Yes. Joke hey, about. can you tell me a joke joke? Uh, knock, knock, knock who's joke? there? Knock, knock. Um, holy thinky underwear. <laughs> holy good. thinky underwear who? What are they? Nobody. <laughs> That's a good one. Knock, <laughs> knock, who's there? What did the snail say on the bird's back? <laughs> slow down. Those are going no. too fast. Yeah, it's sad. You don't have to eat it. Just I'm a poo poo! So I have more hydrocortisone, I have Lexapro, which is antidepressant, because as you can imagine, having brain cancer and facing the possibility that you might die is a little depressing, so that helps me out a little bit. Um, and sometimes I take Xanax, sometimes I don't, it just depends on how, how much my w mind is wandering during the day, I think I'm going to have problems sleeping or not.
Now it's that time for the second round, which is my blood pressure medication and denogen medicine. Alexa, please set a timer for 90 minutes. Now then, 30 minutes, starting now. So um, I laid down and then uh, about an hour and a half later, I have an anti-nausea drug and a blood pressure medication because the Avastin that I'm on, the intravenous, Chemotherapy makes my blood pressure kind of go crazy, so I take that, and that makes me feel kind of icky. So I stay in bed and hang out there for a while, and then a half hour later, after I take the anti-nausea drug, which is the Dancitron, a boom boom boom, a boom boom boom, um, funny name drug for expensive cancer, it's anti-nausea. Um, I then um, take my Temidar, which is a chemotherapy drug which really drags me down, but, um, okay, here comes <laughs> Cecily wearing her latex gloves to put my chemo temidar in. In case you're wondering why, it's because it's so toxic, you know, so touch with your bare skin unless you're the patient. Can you hold this for me, please? I drink at least eight ounces of water with this. Figure one follows one ounce. That's one. Two. Three. Lower. Sorry, you have four. Sorry, right, the pills make me a little gassy. <laughs> That's how he counts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Six. Seven. And then from there, I kind of, I might do a little bit of stuff in bed, like read or work on a little project, organize some stuff. Like last night, I organized my tie little rack thing. Those who used to work with me know that I used to wear ties every day. So I was organizing that. Um, um, I don't actually sleep in the same room as my wife. Um, that's because Temidar is so toxic that even like little sweat and oil through my skin, she can't touch it, can't touch me. So she even when she gives me the Temidar, it's usually with, it's always with actually, with latex gloves on because it's so toxic. So that's the stuff that you, basically when they treat you for cancer, they're trying to kill you, get you as close to death um, to cure you. So, so far so good. <laughs> I haven't died yet. I'm actually, as you can probably tell, doing a little bit better. Each week I get a little bit stronger, so, but um, that's a typical day. Um, hey guys, it's like 2.30 in the morning and this is, happens kind of regularly. I wake up actually feeling pretty good. Some of the best feeling I have all day where I really don't have any symptoms, but, but my mind is sort of racing and I'm wide awake. I also feel the Temidar in my stomach sort of the last little vestiges of it being processed by my body. So it's part of the experience. Yay! Up, up a bunch during the night. Plus, since I drink so much water with the Temidar, I usually go to the bathroom quite a bit. Um, if you check my watch, um, I get quite a few steps in overnight well over a hundred because the bathroom's only like 10 yards away that's pretty cr kind of crazy if you think about it but anyway i'm gonna try to go back to sleep now wish me luck